It's a frustration for thousands of startups and small businesses in Europe, coping with heavy regulation, taxes, and barriers to doing business across the EU. Now there's a new push to make the single market really work and to free up a lot of job-creating energy. At this hearing in the European Parliament, MEPs, business leaders, and consumer advocates lent their support to a report calling for action. Lara Comi of the EPP Group is a rapporteur of the single market strategy. Her report notes a Parliament study that says the single market could generate another trillion euros in business if unshackled. And she adds if no new barriers are erected. For example, if the migration crisis derails the Schengen Open Borders Agreement. Si parla anche di Europa sì, Europa no, oggi giorno, e quindi anche di un futuro dell'Europa in previsione anche di Schengen. Schengen è uno anche dei pilastri del mercato unico, ovvero quello di avere una libera circolazione delle merci, libera circolazione delle persone. E noi vogliamo un sistema armonizzato, sia da un punto di vista fiscale, ma anche da un punto di vista dei lavoratori. How to do that? The report backs an action plan toward establishing a common VAT for e-commerce, a services passport for cross-border businesses, common labeling requirements, an EU-wide patent to protect intellectual property, and fighting so-called geo-blocking or discrimination against consumers based on their nationality or residence in order to make it easier to shop online. Andreas Schwab is the EPP Group's coordinator on the Internal Market and Consumer Protection Committee. Like rapporteur Lara Comi, he adds that the EU's open internal borders are a key part of the single market as well. We are deeply concerned at the moment talking about the internal market strategy of the European Commission that the most important precondition for that single market to operate, the Schengen system, the borderless transport and delivery of services and goods is at stake and therefore we definitely want to make a big call here. Schengen is important for the single market and for wealth of citizens in Europe and therefore we have to make sure that Schengen is not abandoned. The report also backs a proposal to make it easier for businesses to declare insolvency and restructure. It calls for tougher enforcement of the Late Payment Directive, which presses clients and governments to pay on time to prevent businesses from going belly up in the first place. The report notes that many single market measures have been enacted but not yet applied, that there are more than a thousand infringement proceedings pending, and that the Commission should make enforcement a top priority. To free up some of that trillion euro potential bonus, for Europe's single market. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.